the third container has arrived. Well, there she is, in place. Now, I didn't want to film us unloading that because it was a two-man job and I didn't want to put extra pressure on the driver because we obviously, we didn't want to smash the shed up. But it came off the lorry perfect. All right, let's have a walk around and see if it's a good one. Very nice on that side. Nice on the back. Now you are going to get some scuffs on the second hand container, that's to be expected. But you don't want any holes. But as second hand goes, this is very, very tidy. Very, very nice. And you think of all the journey this container has made. Been out at sea for oh, decades and it survived and it's still looking this good. Because sometimes people carry scrap metal in these for export and these get trashed. Now, if you watched my first video of buying a container, click the link below to watch that video. I didn't see that container before I bought it and I was very disappointed with the quality of that container. And I've learned my lesson. I saw the actual photos of this one before it got sent to me. And that's how old this container is, 2006. That's how old that is. So basically, 20 years old. Two decades out at sea, and now it's back in Gwynning Griff. Right, let's have a look at the roof, and then we'll talk about leveling this thing out. <laughs> Not so young anymore. Oh, that is good. First thing you're looking for, it's got to be that shape. No big dents where water can sit. On my first container, I had to really paint that because there were some big dips in there you had to be careful of. Now, oh, this is obviously a patch. They uh, cut a hole out one time and put a new piece in and they've uh, obviously welded that up properly. So you'll probably see uh, they've, they've patched the inside as well. Now, there's a dip, so see here, there's a dent, and there's a dip, so we'd have to really fill, when we paint this container up now, really fill this area up, either with silicone or some kind of paste, or, you know, a really thick layer of paint, to make sure the water runs off, it doesn't sit there. You can easily fix that with good quality paint. Now, I will show you the paint that I'm going to use. The paint that I used on my first container, it was called a skip and container paint. And that is by far the best metal paint I've ever, ever used and seen. Couple more dents there. But I tell you what, overall, this is excellent quality for second hand and the money I paid for it. Now I know everybody's gonna be asking how much I paid for this. And I don't think it's fair to say, because I'll share the Marion's details on the description of this video. If anybody wants to buy a container from him, they can uh, give him a ring. But it, it depends where you live. I suppose I'm quite fortunate. I live in the same county as Marion and where his yard is, so I'm not far to deliver. But, you know, these containers, they come from docks, so worthwhile giving him a ring. Uh, what I will say is this was a lot less than £2,000 delivered. I'll, I'll say that much, but I'm not going to say exactly what I paid for it. So, very good. We've been right around the container and on the roof. Spot on. Let's check the inside out. Ooh. 
Now when you look at the seal on containers, ideally you want them totally sealed. You can see this one's had a repair that one time. There's a little bit of separation there, but you can see the way they do these containers is they bring a, a big strip of rubber and they put silicon in the gaps. So that's what they do from now. So that little bit there just needs a little bit extra silicon and then that will be totally sealed. Easier if I use two hands. Get some light on the camera. Looking nice. That's been repaired. And there's that patch you can see. So they obviously put silicon on the inside and welded the outside, which is fine. Very, very nice. These types of scuffs to be expected, but it's totally sealed. Well, I'm impressed. I am happy with that. Now I asked Maiden as well, fit the lock box on. So I can lock the container up like that. So overall, very, very, very pleased with this container. Now, there is another container on route, well, not quite on route, I gotta paint this one first. So obviously, I don't want a red container there. I wanna paint it blue. Same color as this one. Now this one's a much nicer container. This one was not quite a one trip one, but it's got the one handle. That's a much easier opening. Um, but you know, when you're buying a second hand one or you know, proper second hand, not, you're not gonna have one like that. Now, these containers, they come with vents. Now that helps out massively with condensation. Now this one, if I want to stop condensation in the winter, I'd have to insulate the top of it, just like I did with my other container. But if you buy a newish container like this one, and it's painted in this color, and that's some kind of anti-condensation paint, and that container is not insulated and I've never seen drips in there. So the newer ones, safe to say that you don't need to insulate them to stop the drips. An old one like this, you will have to insulate them. Now I'm guessing this red paint is some kind of anti-condensation paint back in the day, but that was just painted so long ago, it's not gonna be effective. So that's my third container. A fourth one is due, well, that's the story I was in the middle of saying, and it's gonna go on top of this container. Now the, the, where this container is um, sitting, it's behind that shed, it's in front of this shed. So if I go too high, nobody will still be able to see it. So it's not gonna be an eyesore for anyone with it being up there and then I'm gonna paint it blue and it's gonna blend in pretty nice. And how do I get up there? Well, to load into the front, we'll just put a, a cage on the tractor so we can load pallets into the back of it. And then I'm gonna build, maybe out of scaffolding or something temporary. So there'll be a balcony coming off the top, a walkway that you can walk along a, we're gonna cut a hole in the top there, put a UPVC door, and we'll have stairs going up into it. So it'll have back access that I can walk up into, and if we wanted a load, we can load in from the front with the tractor. Now that is gonna give me double the storage, but not lose any footprint at all. And what's great about a container is, it's an instant secure shed. It's dry, 
and you just got it there and then and you know that is worth uh, a lot of money and i mean the cost of this compared to building something with this kind of capacity i mean it's it's probably less than like six percent of what it would cost to build so pleased with that now how do we get it level now it was pretty easy it was going on concrete now when the container guy does come make sure you got levels and you've got patio slabs ready to go because the trick is you drop the container down first then you go in there with a level that's pretty good spot on because my first container when i put that down i didn't think you needed to level the floor that much and if that was on a bit of a uh, not a big wonk, but on a wonk. What you find if your container is not um, give or take level, as you load it up, the container slightly twists and then you can't shut the door. So that's a very important tip that you want to do. And what I always do as well, see this lock box here? I do cut a little groove out depending on the type of padlock you use. Now I use this kind of padlock and I find it a lot easier if you just cut a little notch there just so that the padlock can come up loose and turn you don't make it more nickable by doing that but you know of course if you are somewhere where people steal stuff regularly put the best kind of lock you've got on but it doesn't matter how good you lock these things an angle grinder will still get in well that's it I think that's all I've got to say about this container sure you guys agree that is a nice one and don't do what i did at the start and buy a bad one but yeah looking forward paint this down and get the next one on top and uh, they say kids they grow up into adults and then they don't want to build dens and tree houses and stuff anymore well i'm 36 and uh, i'm still building dens and cool things and i just think oh i don't know i don't know what it is i just love containers if i could live in a container home i would i've seen some amazing ones on the internet i just love everything about them but anyway that's it see you at the next video